Now, this is just mind-blowing, so I had to bring it to your attention, guys. This sweater developed by the University of Maryland is an invisibility cloak against AI. It uses some type of adversarial patterns to stop AI from recognizing the person wearing it. Now, you know what I immediately thought about and thought of? Guess what? That this would be perfect in China, right? Remember, your privacy will be what? You'll be tracked in return for your what? Privacy, you get safety. So I'm pretty sure this is definitely gonna uh, gonna get banned, guys, over there. <laughs> it's so ugly. We also <laughs> wish we couldn't see it, right? People are getting ready for the future. PayPal quietly added the 2.5k penalty again. Oh my, they, they aren't stopping guys. It correlates with this right here, right? Look at this. PayPal user agreement. If you are a seller and receive funds for transactions that violate the acceptable use policy, then in addition to being subject to the above actions, you'll be liable to PayPal for the amount of PayPal's damages caused by your violation of the acceptable use policy. You acknowledge and agree that $2,500 per violation of the acceptable use policy. Wait, what? We, we thought they removed it, right guys? And they were sorry, by the way. Quote, unquote, sorry. We, we are. Guys, it's hilarious because everything we have been saying has been coming true. We stated that, no, of course they're, they aren't sorry. If they were, that incident was going to happen in the first place, right? The promotion of hate, violence, racial, or other forms as we see right there. Go woke, go broke. Wow, guys. Interesting, 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 right? So what do you believe the future will look like? Are these the stepping stones, right, that these people are building to to lead what we the people in this type of direction for what the future? Comment down below. Walmart receipts from three years ago, milk is up a crazy amount, toothpaste, right? All of these things as we see right here. But inflation is only 8.2%. CPI data is fake, guys. Exactly. We talked about this, right? These people don't care about us at all. If they did, they weren't. We weren't going to get in this situation in the first place, right? If they cared about the economy in the first place, the structure of the of the economy, right? The foundation would have been perfect from the beginning. Would have been well built, but it's, it wasn't, right, guys? We are basically, or it's basically what a house of cards, awaiting to collapse. From Insider Paper, Justin, Russian President Vladimir Putin accuses the West of seeking global domination by fueling the conflict in Ukraine. Here we go. A lot of people are agreeing. Yup, pretty much. It's true. Yup. Yup. USA using Ukraine to fight a proxy war. Guys, this is crazy, right? Russia literally stated this, guys. Interesting. Of seeking global domination. Remember what they want. Actually, you know what? Vladimir Putin isn't wrong here, his statement. You know why? Because these people truly do want, it doesn't matter, of course he's part of the same agenda, right? In my opinion, in my humble opinion, guys, these people truly do want global domination. Why? Because it correlates with what? Centralization, right? At its finest. Wow. Then we go to this tweet. This is just crazy. Listen to this. Quote, here we are near the brink of nuclear war because the United States just can't keep its goddamn nose out of anyone's backyard guys listen to this this is crazy and i don't even know who's really responsible for this but it's a very narrow group and it has almost nothing to do with the american people and no one's been asked about it and no one's been informed about it and no one's been told about it and yet here we are near the brink of nuclear war and we are near the brink of nuclear war that's true so to my mind we are in a wildly wrong-headed approach Oh, how did we get here? We got here because the United States just can't keep its goddamn nose out of anyone's backyard. And we kept pushing NATO enlargement. And I was there 32 years ago as advisor to Gorbachev and then advisor to Yeltsin and advisor to Kuchma, first president of independent Ukraine. And I was an advisor to Yatsenyuk just after the 2014 event. So I've watched this pretty close up for 32 years. And I think 
the U.S. is the provocation. This does not play well in the U.S. media. In fact, it doesn't play at all. I can't get an op-ed published in the U.S. media. They're not interested. They don't want to have any debate at all. And we continue NATO expansion. And in 2008, Bush said, now we'll go to Ukraine and to Georgia. And to my mind, this was just absolutely the most provocative thing we could do. Again, guys, there we go. Basically, is the final fence literally going to be a nuclear attack, right? Or will it be a nuclear scare event, which I believe is a definitely a possibility, right? By the way, if news of nuclear attacks and whatnot is going to be in the media, guess what's going to happen to all markets? Flash crash immediately. Dump. We won't make that. We can't make this stuff up, guys. Jim Cramer begins to cry and apologizes on being wrong on Meta. He basically starts like, "Look at this, guys. He's all. He's definitely a contraindicator." Elon Musk was right. Wow. And guess what? Elon Musk loves pushing the certain agendas, right? Justin, UK Committee of Lawmakers approves stablecoin regulation bill. Here we go. Now, besides all of that, we see a correlation to this from Ripple. In the latest XRP markets report, we discussed Ripple's XRP holdings. Now, less than 50% of total supply, the state of global crypto regulation, macro macroeconomic moves, and on-demand liquidity continued domination. Wow. Look at that, guys. ODL. Continued domination, huh? Beautiful. Wouldn't you say so? Q3 2022 XRP markets report. Let's let's check this out, guys. We're going to be uh, skimming through it. Obviously not reading the whole thing because it's going to be so long, right? If we did. But if you guys would like to check it out, I'll have the link down in the description below so you guys can investigate further. But listen to this. So basically, Ripple publishes the quarterly XRP markets report to vol voluntarily provide transparency and regular updates on the company's views of on the state of crypto markets exactly guys right these people have been transparent from the beginning of time so how 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 do they even have a lawsuit guys in the first place nothing makes sense right if you go down here as an xrp holder ripple believes proactive communication and transparency are part of being a res uh being a responsible stakeholder moreover ripple urges others in the industry to build trust foster open communication and raise the bar industry-wide exactly notable takeaways basically ripple's xrp holdings are below 50 percent of the total out outstanding supply for the first time wait what oh my on demand liquidity went live in brazil a key market in latam total xrp sales by ripple net of purchases were 310 million dollars wow 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 interesting guys look at this right here critics have pointed to the company's xrp ownership as an indicator that the xrp ledger is controlled by ripple this is not true the xrp ledger uses this consensus mechanism to validate transactions right so but but my guys i, I know i'm pretty sure a lot of people hate when i say this i believe i'm not talking about ripple or other or the xrp ledger right I believe things can be centralized and decentralized at the same time, right? So it's, a, it's basically a paradox. But as we see right here, Ripple currently operates four out of 130 plus validator nodes on the XRP ledger. So we def it definitely is decentralized, right? We, we know, we know, guys, we know. Definitely seems decentralized to me. Well, of course it is, guys. Look, look at that. So I'm, I'm not sure on why these critics are stating that it's not... It, it's centralized, right? It's not decentralized and whatnot. All they have to do is see the proof in the pudding. Crypto market summary. If you go down here though, NFT spotlight. A lot of NFT talk as well, right? The metaverse and whatnot. Interesting. And they were talking about, there's a NFT fund right here. If you go to this suite, wave three of our 250 million dollar creator fund is now open this wave seeks creators building digital and physical nfts though applications across all use cases are welcome submit your application by december 30th guys hmm very interesting right so if you guys do have any projects you guys can go check this out 
bring your NFTs to life on the XRP Ledger, right? The innovation, the adoption is not stopping at all, guys. $250 million. That's pretty crazy. Shall, shall I join? I mean, seems pretty crazy, guys. As you guys can see, the acceleration, right? This is the path of accelerating this industry, basically. Interesting stuff. Beautiful. We go back here. Global regulations, right? We talked about this, guys. We talked about how regulations definitely inbound, right? Oh my, look at this right here. Last quarter, the White House released its ever first first ever framework on US crypto regulation, focusing on key issues such as illicit activity in the digital asset space, a potential US central bank digital currency, and stable coin regulation. Here we go, right? It's time. It's time, guys. Everything we've been seeing about regulations will not right for XRP clarity. It's it's it has all just been a show at the end of the day. I do believe the finale is uh, soon, guys. The finale is soon. XLS twenty update as well, guys. Do we see how much? This is just mind boggling. So much is happening, right? That people that a lot of people hate XRP or Ripple for doing. Why? 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 Because XRP will be what the heart of the new financial system guys right so we know we are getting closer and closer day by day guys i'm so excited honestly now last but not least we see right here from crypto barbie maybe all this could mean the train is about to leave the station or perhaps it already has left right guys i do believe moon is soon we go up and never stop unless a black swan event like a nuke takes place right so this is why I always say be prepared for any type of scenario possible, guys. Not financial advice. Not financial advice and not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for you guys. Basically, and guys, see ya.